Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Mother 3. Last time we were here with Salsa and Facade in the desert. Because we're cool desert dwellers like that. So let's head up to the dome, shall we? Hopefully avoiding these uh, dung beetles. These beetle baileys over here. I've never even read that comic strip. An Aquarius bracelet. Awesome sauce. So let's go give that to Salsa. Up his defense a little bit, that way he won't be taking so much damage in this boss fight. Well, I think it's a boss fight anyway. Could be a mini boss, I don't know. This is Monkey. That is a cactus wolf, the meanest thing in the desert. But we cannot get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose, and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready for you. That freaking sucks. I probably should have save stated before this battle, but who cares? Let's go and use. Monkey Mim- no. Let's start off with some bombs. That should do a good amount of damage. The facade will hopefully help us out here, so... Pretty much in this fight, I don't think Make, Laugh, and Dance do much. Um, so I'm gonna use Monkey Mimic. Yeah, because that does the most damage outside of, you know, that. Let's use a nut bread to heal up real quick. Ooh, a cactus headbutt. I like the music in this battle. Bam, cactus headbutt. What are you gonna do? This guy has like 400 something HP. It's ridiculous. It's a lot harder than that uh, thing we fought, the uh, great antelion or whatever. Monkey mimic. Stop cactus headbutting me. Uh, let's try another nut bread. Thank God he didn't use that freaking monkey, or not monkey, he didn't use the cactus headbutt because that would have really hurt. Oh. Damn, how much H Oh, I know how much HP he has, but how much is this, or how much longer is this gonna take? Ouchies. Yay, we beat him. Go team. Or, go Salsa. Then again, Facade did most of the work. I guess I can't leave him out. Now we're level 7. And we get some beef jerky for our efforts, which is good, because I used some beef jerky in that fight. Alright, let's get in the dome, shall we? Let Facade open the dome. Okay. Get in, you. Oh, I didn't use my Facade voice. Oh, well. So if you've played Earthbound, you've probably heard this music before. We get some bug sprays and that freaking awesome sauce. Boop boo. Oh come on. Damn you violet roach, taste my pain. Damn, he did a lot of damage. I'm better off just using the monkey mimic. There we go. A winner is us. And we get some nut bread. So all in all, it was a win-win. Underground map. Alright, so that's the map of this area down here. I'm going to use some nut bread to heal up here. Yay, nut bread. Also, you can use that insect spray on them to make it a little bit... Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, I shouldn't have used my nut bread. Oh, well. Oh, stop shocking me, you ass. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're going to take it to the unbelievably uncivilized village called Dazmili. It'll take an incredibly long time to get there on foot. With this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of it. Uh, I didn't. I think he said needle. Yeah, I got it. Alright, but I don't want that right now. Yeah, this is the uh, revitalizing machine. I think we saw one as flint and uh, duster. So if we use it... It heals up all of our HP, but you guys knew that already. But we're still hungry. Alright, that joke aside, let's open up and get the ancient banana. I forget what that does, I think it's an item in battle. We went up a couple levels, isn't that, isn't that just dandy? Isn't that just swell and dandy? Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. You got all that? Yep. Then get in. Let's do this. 
Holy Jesus Christ, we're fast! No. Yeah, we're just hitting enemies out of the way. We don't even care. But yeah, this is uh, the pork bean. It travels pretty fast, honestly, thanks to the uh, highway tunnels they've built. Oh, sorry for... Yeah. It's a rough morning, guys. It's a rough morning. Riding in pork beans, blowing up things. There's like a little armory here with all their tanks. You can save here. I don't know why you would. Actually, let's get out here so we can get these items. A chick bandana and a nut bread. All right. And I call it a chick bandana because that's what it is. It's not like a chic bandana. That would just be ridiculous. It'd make more sense, but... Wee! Forget your shit. Alright, so let's land this pork bean. Let's go pick up this item, which is some bug spray. And there's an item over here. And that is a running bomb. Awesome sauce. Looks like they got some enemies here. A gooey goo. Thank God it's not a metal slime. Boo doo doo. I forget what the ancient banana does, but let's use a running bomb to start things off. Thank you, facade. Ow. Alright, let's use uh, attack. Thank you, facade. Oh god, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think they could split up into even more gooey goos. Which could be a problem. I'm glad the slimes in Dragon Quest can't do that. That'd be a pain. A mosquito charm. I believe that is a better charm for uh, Salsa. So let's go equip that. There's just equipment all around this day and age. What does this say? Please refrain from throwing running, bo uh, running bombs while indoors. Okay, I'll think about that. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm surprised nobody here ever noticed that. To the south of the cemetery is a village. There's a place that called yeah, they're called the Yado Inn, where we can stay the nights. That's where we're heading now. All right, so we know where the Yado Inn is. We've been playing this game for what about a couple hours now. Maybe not. I don't know. I always lose track playing RPGs. Especially on the emulators, because then you never know. Who's this guy? Why, hello there. What do you think of that wonderful or wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just counting to see how much is in there. <laughs> just please, do, uh, please be extra careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. Huh. So let's save the game again, shall we? Now that we're level 9. Always be sure to save after you level up. That's that's a good handy tip. Oh, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry. If you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey. We should be off. Yeah, you saw how we, uh... We saw that in, in Duster's Tale. In our Duster's Chapter, sorry. Chapter 2. In case you guys forgot, that was, that was a long time ago. I was a different man back then. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? Well, you don't know what money is. Actually, I'm not all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tazmeli before, but apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. Then he asked me in tears if I traded them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Not. Nah. Anyway, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Duster, this is a secret between you and me. Just is like, okay. <laughs> it's got like an evil Jew laugh. Yeah, we put it back. We're not... Monkeys don't need money. At least that's what I think, anyway. I've never asked a monkey what he needs. Or what he wants. How much is the lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, fee? There's no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still. 
It's really a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. That's awesome. Where's your thank you? And yeah, you'll get a little thing to input your uh, commands there. Well then, if you'll excuse us. Come on, little salsa. Let's go to our room, shall we? I apologize if my facade accent isn't really doing it today. I'm kind of tired, so. The middle room. You're going to work hard for me to or starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep. <laughs> Just passes out right there. It's the dead of night. I awoke with a start. Stupid monkey still sleeping. Alright, so we can save the game here. Actually, what you want to do is leave. Hit out the door. Actually, I think there's something in one of these other rooms. Oh, it's locked. I think it's this last one. Oh. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Damn you, game! Uh-oh. You've arrived at Osohi Castle. Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle. That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kinda like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about them. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it in your hands. Stay alert! Not time to get my money. You Jew bastard. Alright, let's run all the way back to our room. And <laughs> sleep. We're sleeping. What's he doing? Oh, I see you're not trying to run away. I guess the fear of punishments turned you into a spineless wimp. <laughs> and out we're out. Or wait. And out we go. Now we have dreams of our girlfriend being taken from us by that big army and facade, the asshole of the universe. Ow. It's been a bad day, guys. It's been a bad day. <laughs> Your girlfriend gets taken, you get bossed around by some dude with a banana fetish. And you're doing tricks for nothing. I'm getting shocked by a control or uh, a, you know, a collar. That sucks. Jesus Christ, that hurts. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your little tricks all happy-like. Prance around all nice and funny and help charm the villagers. Do a good job, and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back, uh, I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, with an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Yes, Master Facade. Is what salsa sounds like. No. That'd just be horrible. Alright, let's go entertain an audience, shall we? Like I said, I really like this kind of music here. It's polka y kinda I don't know how I don't know how to explain it. Come, gather around. Come one and all, fair denizens of Dazmili. Congratulations are in order for hard work that you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. 
but there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really th how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never seen before are now look in our forest. The giant balloon-like objects soar into our skies. What is going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. Holy Christ, where's my accent going all over the place in this? Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? Thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will someday be a, ra a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start in obtaining happiness. Oh Christ. Here we go. How exactly did little salsa here manage to find happiness? All those who are interested, please raise your hands boisterously. Who wants to be happy? <laughs> Isaac's like, eh, I guess. Okay, little salsa. Go ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your ra hands raised, folks. I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I'm happy. I respect my husband, Abbott. But there's nothing <laughs> bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. My name's Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Thus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Alright, so we got all their names. Everyone! If even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over. If you decide you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Take care. Now then, come along, little salsa. Let's just return to the Yado Inn. God, there's a lot of dialogue this episode. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What, you can't because they're too tough? Alright, I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Alright, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go we'll deliver them to everyone who named or whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Beef, Isaac. Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. Look up straight back to this room. If you can't do it in another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more charred if that happens. If you try to run away from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yep. Then get to it already. You can finish delivering them another 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart, because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to save here, and then I will join you back next time. This episode lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. This has been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.